recording started. Good stuff. So, as you will be aware, this is a recording, so we're not actually live, just in case people are commenting. But what I'm hoping is that we are going to be in the chat with you, chatting to you that way. That's pretty much what yes. we're going to be able to do it. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We, the, we've the, had no notice of this gagging. No, no. And there's nothing on my phone saying that we're being blocked or banned or prevented from streaming or anything like that. Not a single notification. But this really, really, really does lead on really nicely in what tonight's live was about. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. So the good thing is about obviously not doing this live is that I don't have to wait for people to log on. No, nope. we can just go with the flow. We can, and then um, we schedule this. And we can go with the flowing locks. Yeah, it stands at a haircut. <laughs> I did the I did the behind the ears in the back of the head. You yeah, did the rest, so you can take a full credit for that. <laughs> so the big um, news. Are we going to get straight on to that? Well, let's let's. Let's deconstruct it a bit like the kebab. Yes, yes, deconstruct it like this, like as yeah. Rob Stewart called it, a deconstructed swan. swan. So that's roadkill, isn't it? Well, it, 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 it's either deconstructed swan. It's either roadkill <laughs> or it's a swan that's had its head, wings, and legs and tail ripped off. And you've just and got then, you've just got the carcass. And you've just got the carcass. So basically, what you're walking through is a swan's carcass, this rib cage, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and that's what Swansea Council puts at the top of his priorities list. Obviously, yeah. if you, all you need to do is have a little walk around Swansea City Centre and to have a little look at all the shops that are closed. You know, not just closed because of lockdown, closed for good. Yeah, and, and don't forget that the um, because, of course, the press work independently mm. of the Labour Party. Independent, Absolutely yeah. independently. Yeah, 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 so course. it just happened to be announced... On in Fridays in in Monday's newspaper um, about this kebab and and the three hundred and fifty million pounds worth of wasted money yeah. that we're all going to be paying off for years and years yeah, and years. Yeah, yeah. Um, that uh, and then at the bottom the Labour Party and then inside uh, the person that thinks they've got a chance in standing in Castle Ward and she's she's talking about how lovely it's going to be to have. Um, UPV energy mm. on the market. Yeah. Meanwhile, the whole of the town is decimated. And we can't blame COVID because the, the shops were being locked up for let for sale and boarded up months and years before that. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so their idea of, of just keep building and something's eventually going to be right is catastrophic mm -hmm. she didn't mention the prostitution and the drugs that are being sold openly yeah, yeah, yeah. in swansea yeah and yet they're going to build a white elephant can you call it white elephant why not you know <laughs> why not you know, that's what they're saying is it's, it? they're going to build a white elephant but to get there you've either got to walk through the town because of course the link for the mo for the for the trains is at the other end of town yeah. So you're gonna have to take um, you're gonna have to take personal protective equipment <laughs> to get from there to down there, uh, and uh, and you've got to watch the druggies and everybody else all high on glue because of course they're now service users. Yes, of course. Of and course. and we've got the police's uh, comments on this that there should be shooting galleries. Mm -hmm. So actually, you could have fluorescent shooting galleries. And as you're walking down, you could see them just popping in and out all high on, on heroin and, and just whatever. Just to give people a warning about where they are, like, is it? Well, is it? <laughs> yeah, just, just to... But that's okay because we've got a great big kebab yeah. spanning <laughs> the road. Yeah, so as you can see, you know, Stan isn't a fan of the bridge. I'm not really a fan of the bridge. You know, I think it doesn't fit with Swansea and Slightness. The fact it's gold and it's supposed to be copper... You know? Do, do you know? Do you know what would have been a good idea? Oh, I tell you what. I tell you what. Actually, before we go into that, where was actually <laughs> the engineer? Where was the engineer from? Brussels. Brussels. Yes. So yeah. it's going to have. It's going to have one of those <laughs> bloody question. horrible blue signs that won't last very long. I predict. I predict it won't last very long. I'd, I'd be surprised <laughs> if it's even going to be put there. Do you know what I mean? Because it's really not in the EU anymore. Well, I'll bet you they find a way. Possibly, possibly. I'll bet you they find just like uh, just like Widow Cranky up mm -hmm. in Scotland, yeah, where yeah. she's got one building that flies the Union flag, mm -hmm. and the rest fly apparently the Scottish flag, 
and the EU flag. Yeah, yeah. That's how loathing she is of the uni of the United Kingdom. I suppose it's not the rainbow flag next to that one as well, well and, and possibly the Jolly Roger what, next to that one. What, <laughs> like down at the Senate? Exactly. Yeah, they've got one there, haven't they? Actually, and is there still one on the? Is it the prison or County Hall or Gold Hall? Sorry. Oh, they're, they're all flying rainbow flags now. Sod off, sod off up to the rest of us, but yeah, uh, yeah. but uh, if you happen to be in that group, then you're a protected mm -hmm. species. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, I'm wondering if we would start going live now tonight, because... Um, well, we haven't told them anything. Well, we've said there's big news, you know. Well, we can't keep them lingering. No, 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 no. What I mean is the live we was going on earlier, as soon as we started... Gone. Oh yeah, gone. You know, and is it because of what what we're about to say? So, well, it may well have been. So, should we should we start? Should we go into it? Why not? Right. So, we found out now. We know why we were banned, basically. So, and it, and what it was was S four C deadly accurate? No, no absolutely was not. was was the BBC deadly accurate? No, totally wrong. Was was John S Cooper of Wales Online absolutely banging? Yeah, he's terrible. You know, this is completely, you know, and, and this is why, right? Now, but, right. but did, you did tell them that it was still under investigation, didn't we you? We told them it was under appeal, yeah. Yeah. So let's just go into what the, the, the thing is from the start. We were banned because we were on, we, we had a video reported, mass reported by the Antifa lot. Same lot all the time. Um, they, they would have mass reported it, it automatically led to a week's ban. So obviously we appealed it. Now, the funny thing about that is they reported it for violent conduct now or violent content sorry the violent content that they reported was black lives matter rioting in london um so it's people that they support so they, they they're acknowledging the fact that it's violent content in their opinion so they know that they said it's violent and that's that so because of that ban obviously uh, uh, probably being naive we created a new account a new channel so we can make sure that we went live from the weekend as we've been promising. Yeah. And that is why we were banned. Okay, because that's the circumvention of technologies complete. So last night we had... And, and, and of course, sorry, I've got to, uh, And so they were all frothing at the mouth thinking, ha, ah, we can get them now. We yeah, can really, yeah, really yeah. get them. Yeah, yeah. You had, and you had the fake voices snails coming out saying that the YouTube tab channel was taken down for hate speech, homophobia, um, violent content, harassment, and, and all that crap. So you think it was th they that wrote the headlines in the BBC, S4C, and it Wales Online? Manual, wouldn't it? But they all yeah. read from the same manual. Well, they do. Know? They do. And, and that's the thing. But so that that was the complaint, okay? And yeah, possibly it's, it's naive of us to have, to have done that, okay? And obviously, like you do on Facebook, um, if you're, you know, ads blue, um, you can create a new account. That's what people do. So this email, this is what I was saying. Let me, uh, I'm going to share the screen. There you go. So, as you can see here, this is an email from YouTube, which states, Hello, Voice of Wales. We have reviewed your appeal for the following content. Video London Riots 2020 Black Lives Matter. The content that has got us the ban. After taking another look, we can confirm that your content does not violate our violent or graphic content policy. Thanks for your patience while we reviewed our appeal. Our goal is to make sure content doesn't violate our community guidance so that YouTube can be a safe place for all. And sometimes we make mistakes, keyword, mistakes, mm. uh, trying to get it right. We're sorry for any frustration or our, our mistake caused you and we appreciate letting us know. How this affects your channel. To make this right, the content is being reinstated. If you have any further questions, please read the content of the ship. So. Is there a date on that? Just so that people don't think we've... Um, there is. It's in my email. Oh, right. Okay. Do, so um, leave, leave that. No, no, no. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's there. Anyway, it's there. There's nothing else here. You can't see anything else. But here's the original email. 8th of March, 2021, 6.29pm. Here it is. Okay. Yep. So... What we're going to say about that, first of all, is the fact that S4C, BBC, Antifa, Antifa. Well, I'm not not necessarily Antifa for this. Um, Wales Online, Wales Online, and every other news article that was pumped out about our, the, the violent content that Voice of Wales has been putting out there. I believe you know also an apology. 
Yep, yeah, and and also a retraction. And, uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and we would like to be on the television as opposed to having to give you, you know, give, I, yeah. give you a statement. Yeah, no, I we, we won't be dealing with them again after this anyway. Do you know what I mean? I, I, we, I don't want to go on a television show. Do you mean we've got our own to worry about? Well, no, as a news art, art, article, mm. they need to understand that they do have a lot of p uh, political clout and they do have a, a, they, a reach and they have a reach and they have blackened our name. Yeah. They, have. they couldn't There's find they couldn't, they couldn't find the racist racism. No. Nope. And and the, and even Wales Online had to had to tweak what was said mm -hmm. outside of the Museum of Wales. Well, yeah, they totally took out the context. They took it out the context because the context well, was right somebody well, somebody well, had uh, as we were on a live feed somebody had said museum of africa yeah someone has said so on the live as you know on a screen it goes up and someone's commented when i said oh this is the arts council of wales and uh, someone has said um i can't remember it was the arts council of africa or something. yeah and that's what they said yeah um, and obviously when you, you, you go in there you go and you read it out you read it out you know that's what you do um but then you said i uh, i wouldn't say that uh, yeah yeah e even though you know it's uh, all the people there were of a african descent and what we were actually talking about were, you know, was, was the fact that Wales was to become a nation of sanctuary. Well, the point is that we've seen it in... So that's the context. The, the point is that we've seen it there in January. Yeah. We've seen it there in February. Mm -hmm. We've seen it there in March. Yeah, yeah. Is it going to be there April, May, June, July, August? This is the Museum of Wales. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But anyway, let's get back to the point. Because the point is, obviously... All of these news articles, Gwyn Loder, Gwyn Loder, who even though he had all the information that um, anything that has been taken down for is under appeal, he published it, guilty as charged. He said we're guilty. So you were wrong and there is, there's damages involved here because you, you run headlines on us which were completely inaccurate. He, what he'd done is he had listened to anti for Black Lives Matter Social Workers Party in Pembroke, mm -hmm. listen to Joshy Bynan, yeah, and decided that and Adam Price. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I always do this. Yeah, and what's his name? Adam Price. Yeah, no, the Grand Wizard. Uh, and de decided that he would write a tale adapted around that. And so he'd already put to uh, Nia Griffiths, the Secretary, Shadow Secretary of State for Wales, and the Grand Wizard. Uh, what the story was, and can we have a comment? Yeah, yeah. Because they were commenting on nothing, mm -hmm. because the programme actually built it up. It said there's going to be graphic, disturbing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I can't whatever. It came with a warning before you it, watched it. Then. Yeah, yeah, uh, which it, which was nonsense. It was, <laughs> was that a woke, not a woke warning? Yeah, thing? of course it was. Of course it was. So, you so, know. so there was nothing in there. There was nothing out of 200 and how many videos have we done? How many thousands of hours? Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. they picked a 10 second, well, a three second clip, which was then later uh, changed, saying I shouldn't have said that. I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and of course, yours was. Um, I how Wales was going to become a nation of sanctuary. That you commented on the uh, uh, Museum of Wales, and somebody had put on there, and you read it out, which is what you do. Yeah, and, and that's that you know that's the video that they put up was me saying that's what Wales is going to become. That's the one they use yeah. as, as you know, me being racist. Yeah. You know, but if I'm not being funny, if you're opening the doors, turn Wales into a nation of sanctuary, then is that not what Wales is going to become? You know, if it's if it's you know no limits, hop in and you come. Well, it, it is you know it, 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 because of the change in the nature yeah. of Wales. Yeah. So, of that's our first part. Okay. All of these news articles that publish that story, they all all owe us a retraction, and and that and that's to say the least. Okay. Secondly, and more importantly, this is what you need to remember now: if we were banned, okay, for that video, and YouTube has now admitted that that video shouldn't have been banned, then we wouldn't have been creating a new account. So basically, they've admitted full liability and they said it was their mistake. The circumvention of technology, we believe now, 
should be automatically reinstate our channel. And the reason they need to do that is because it was taken down wrongfully. Yeah. And it was taken down by Antifa, who did who does these sorts of things, a mass report, a mass report, and that's all they can do because that's all they got. You know, they can't you know, no, well, no, what they it, do from their screen because that's where they live. Yeah, that, that's where they live. But also, um, we're now talking about uh, criminality yes. because uh, they have um, tried to, they've made a false report in my name to PayPal. Yeah. They've tried to, we, uh, they've tried to break into your uh, into the uh, Vow account, yeah. and in fact, PayPal said that it had been. Yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. They actually it, came up and said that yeah, it looks like you had your account was being under attack, so we've shut it all down because we couldn't really use it. So it was on freeze until I called them. Yeah, and that's what they said. And so, uh, and and if Grim Loader or whatever his name is wants to jump in bed with Neanderthals and and uh, and. Uh, fascists, actually, and who, racists, uh, and racists who don't who who don't want any opinion that varies from theirs. Mm -hmm. Then, good luck. Yeah, yeah. But you're not a journalist. Correct. And this is exactly it, okay? Because this is the point now. There is no reason why our channel shouldn't be reinstated. There is no reason, and, and this is this is a new low now, isn't it? Being being blocked off on on Facebook because again, our content is not and has not been deemed violent or no. or racist or anything. No, it's not breached any standard. No, no. Um, I can't remember saying where was it going. Um, Sorry, I do I this need, all the I time. Used to it, I'm used to it. Just have a look at the kebab, though. Look that's, at that. that's a taco. That's not a kebab. <laughs> oh, it's, 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 Jesus. <laughs> well, I, you know, I don't eat any of that kind of food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so, yeah, this is the point. Why, why why, would YouTube now turn around and say that they wouldn't put our channel back on? They've admitted the mistake. They've, all, they've taken liability for the the ban. They've said that it doesn't breach any. So when, when Fake Voice of Wales were publishing saying that, um, obviously, the video's been taken down for violent conduct, video was actually under appeal. So what happens after an appeal is someone actually watches the video and then someone deems it appropriate or not. And considering that was BBC footage or mainstream media footage, there's no way on earth that they could say that was violent content because that would have been shown prior to any watershed. But, but fortunately, Mr. Loader, if Antifa say that that's violent, you're defending violence. Yeah, because that's Antifa. Because that's Antifa. Yeah, so you're going to be hearing from us, Gwyn, uh, S4C, and BBC Wales, the police. This is going to be going, taking it down the, the police route as well. We are going to be contacting the police in regards to the cyber crime. The good thing is we've got some very clever techie people working with us. And emails come with IP addresses, and IP addresses can be easily tracked. So that's what is going to be given straight away to the correct authorities to investigate. And, yeah, you know, it's going to be nice to see a little bit of justice come there end for a yeah, change. And, and also after Thursday, we think, um, if you try to carry on this nonsense, then you'll be committing election offences. Exactly, exactly. So, obviously, now with this update from YouTube admitting liability, and admitting them that we shouldn't have been on a ban. Our channel should never have been taken down. So with the fake voice of Wales being exposed again as dirty, stinking liars, um, obviously we've put an update to our appeal to YouTube. So let me uh, let me find this. Yeah. And in, in the meantime, uh, Mr. Cooper, if you want to give us a ring and we'll have a we'll have a little wander, shall we, around the town centre, uh, and um, and you can you can highlight. Uh, my concerns about how shite Swansea City is, and it's because of people like you who go round and you don't find your own stories. And it's P and it's Swansea Labour Council that have done it. The number of properties that were closed before the pandemic, and then you've got druggies throughout the day, taking away the streets for, for normal people, and that's down to you 
for not reporting it, and it's down to Swansea Council for not giving a damn. Yeah. So back to YouTube. Um, I'm just trying to load it up the comments. There we go. So the email, I won't um I won't put it on the screen. Should I put it on the screen? Uh, let me just see if there's anything there that's no, that's fine. I'll put it on the screen. Bear with me. I'm just going to um, quickly reply. He tells me off so many times about keeping my phone on. Yeah, well, we had a disaster, and this is one of our mods. Oh, so, I know that. I yeah. know that. <laughs> uh, God bless the UK. That, that was you ringing me just then, and that's me just messaging you back saying we're recording. So this is the evidence that I'm not ignoring you. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to share the screen. Obviously, now, our because we... Um, right, let's have a look. Right, sorry about that. I clicked the wrong button when I was trying to share the screen. Right, so you didn't hear any of that. So, we say it again, just to get the message clear, we were taken down because of a ban. The ban should never have been in place. YouTube's a bit of liability. So now we are loading our, our appeal on the overall account being taken down. So, this was the reply that we've sent back over to YouTube today. So, hi, hope you can't be enough to the correct departments. We basically got it through to all the departments to make sure they receive it. Recently, we had our channel closed down, uh, which we currently have an appeal open for. The account was closed for circumvention of technologies complaint. Since this appeal has been logged, there has been more info that needs to be added to it. It's quite far away, I can't really see. On Monday, the 8th of March at 6.29 p.m., we received the following email regarding the original video uh, we put on a one-week ban. So that's the email then that, you, that, that I've already gone through with you. So, as we were wrongfully banned and you have admitted mistakes, uh, we feel the original YouTube account, Voice of Wales, linked email here, should be reinstated. Uh, we've been under sustained attack by a particular group on all platforms. This group has set a spoof Voice of Wales channel, which is here which does actually include copyright material, hateful, abusive, and fraudulent content, which has, which has been reported many times. They've also set up fake Facebook page, Twitter, and email accounts. To expand on the level of abuse to this fake Voice of Wales YouTube channel, please check their Facebook page here. Right, so they have previously tried to hack our PayPal accounts, and last night, Stan PayPal was attacked, but if you clicked on links, it would lead to fraudulent and criminal activity. We, Voice of Wales, Val Media, are a registered media business with the correct British authorization HMRC company registration over here. You will see that our content covers a wide range of subjects on the day-to-day -day issues in Wales with a loyal fan base, and we, on this occasion, strongly urge that the original page is reinstated as we believe we didn't circumvent the ban as the ban wasn't appropriate in the first place. If you'd like to check our website, here it is. So I would, pr I would pretty much say, Stan, that that's bound to rights. It, it is, but you know, you know, in the, in the, you never, you never know. We are on the right. The, the point well, is, is that we are right. We're going to win either way. This is the, this is the same situation we were in last time, and, yep. we, and we won then, and we yep. win again. Yeah. Where YouTube, this is, this is going to get out there. This message is going to get out there, right? Without a doubt, this is going. We've held it until today because we are going to go broadcast it, but we are putting this all over the place from today. What's going to happen then? is if you two come back, like they rightfully should, because our content has never been hateful, abusive, racist, or anything. If you two come back to us and hold your hands up and say, we're sorry, you know, yeah, we did get it wrong. You know, we all do make mistakes, you know, so we accept that. But if they come back and say no, and there's no reason for that, we're seeing, we're seeing what we've been saying for so long. Yeah. But the evidence is there that they are just choosing not to. Yeah. Because they have admitted the liability. Yeah. The, the, and that's that's the issue that we, we haven't done anything wrong and um there is no logical reason why we can't be reinstated and the 200 odd videos that we've got go on as well yeah absolutely but what absolutely. they need to do is they need to understand and that the amount of money that we've lost i'm sorry yeah. but we are, you know youtube does pay you you know, and YouTube, it does, you know, the ads and the content, things like that. It does pay you monthly. 
Now, we have had a period now, which would have been a busy period, um, where we haven't been monetized. So that's damages there. Yeah. You know, we've lost, you know, that we have take, you know, lost out on money that should have come to us. 10,000 plus supporters. 10,000 plus subs. Yeah. And all, that was all thanks to the BBC in the first place. So, you know, we've, we've, we've got, we've taken legal advice. You know, we've spoken to people who are in the know and we've got a very strong case. That email of it in liability is a bit in liability. And that is that end of story. And they, and they should have waited. Or caveated it, and they didn't do exactly. Exactly, they decided to publish and be damned. And this is the problem: Voice uh, Wales Online, BBC, S4C, Newydigion, and Twin Loader all wanted to run with the story. Now they all wanted that story out there, and they didn't care. You know, they wanted to put on there that you know loads of people's opinions, and the people's opinions that they talk with the people who disagree with us politically. You know, it's like you know, why would you do that? Why would you go to the people who they are positioned to get the opinion? If you want to get the opinion of someone, you go to someone they know, surely. Well, actually, they went to one person who is opposite us, but that person said, no, they're helping education our way, I say, and they've been very good with them. And he didn't he didn't run with that story. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, of course he didn't run with that story, because then he would have had to put the girl's name in the paper. You have to publicise that there's a group called Education I Say Our Way, who and PCP Wales, who are trying to stop this curriculum coming into play. Yeah. So, you know, if he had put that in the paper, then people would have started questioning that. So they're very clever, but they're very, but they're also very dumb. They're well, devious, I'd say, not dumb. But yeah. they're, they're devious. But they, it's like I can't understand why. Wales they're... is crying out. Sorry, Wales is crying out for a media that is fair. That, that's even, e even marginally, you know, partial, impartial, yeah. should I say. But they're not. They're 100% tied to the Labour Party. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem. We've got no media, no outlet, and you lot are trying to strangle us. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, it won't happen. It won't happen. Because our website's going to be up and running soon. And that's where we're going to be doing all of our um, all of the live feeds are going on to there. An update on Gab, because I know a lot of people have donated. Um, so the update on Gab is you've got to pay with Bitcoin. Now, we've had to try and figure out how to play Bitcoin, and we've had a lot of help um, from professionals in that, in, uh, in that area. So we set it up. It's all done. We've, we've actually bought Bitcoin, um, and we need to pay for the Gab. Yep. The Gab um, is basically saying that it takes up, in, so they've got to verify the account, it's added security measures or whatever with a new card and whatever. Um, and it's 334 hours to go. 334 <laughs> hours to go, yeah, something stupid like that. 23rd of March or yeah. something, was it? Yeah. So 23rd of March is when we can actually um, pay for Gab. But the good thing is the Bitcoin's there, we bought that. Yeah. Um, and also, I want to put out an appeal. Can I put out an appeal? Yeah, um, we we are going to be doing a tour of Wales, and uh, we need to have. Well, we're we're, we're ho hoping somebody out there has a uh, camper van, ice cream van, or an ice cream van. No, it's it's not. It's a hot dog van, isn't it? Um, yeah, hot dog. <laughs> it's van, a hot yeah. dog it's van. An ice cream van. So there's hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, and and good internet Wi-Fi connection for the night because we're going to be doing on we're going to on tour. Yeah. I, 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 and get stories across Wales from yeah. across Wales. Yeah. And if you happen to be a fan of of uh, Voice of Wales, and we're in your area, we would love you to come down and and uh, and either have a say on the program or even yeah. uh, even just just uh, drink from the sidelines as 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 uh, as we've had here in the past. Yeah, because we'll come and drink with you at the end, then, isn't it? Uh, absolutely. So, you know, the, you know what we're hoping is um, we're going to get up to North Wales. We're going up there. I, I won't say a day, um, but we are going up there relatively soon. Um, and that is just to get an area of the top, uh, get an idea what it's like up there. You know, chat to a few people, see how they are feeling, what everything is going on. We, the main reason we're going up there is to help the girls um, who are launching there around the way around Wales in twenty days. Um, so yeah, we're, we're going to be going up and we're going to support them and we're going to hand up flyers with them and, and do that. We're ho also hoping to speak to the UK candidate for when did you say uh, North Wales? North Wales, yeah. Um, we won't say the area anyway, so we're looking to get the interviews done there at the same time, yeah. So we got a lot of lot of fun 
stuff going on, a lot of exciting stuff going on, a lot of campaigning is going to be started. And I don't know about you guys, but after all this time stuck indoors, you know, I bet you can't wait to get sink your teeth into a bit of campaigning. Everything you've seen in Wales, if that has not motivated you now to get involved and, and make a difference yourself, yeah. then I fear that you're not ever going to you're never going, you're never going to, to stand up. And don't forget, if you don't stop Labour, you could have a taco coming to a town near you. <laughs> It's, that was just off the top of my head. I know. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how much is. He's so happy with that. Uh, so, we are going to keep on plugging away at YouTube. What are we going to do next? We've got um, we've got a couple of calls tomorrow with, um, let's just say, legal. Um, we've got uh, we've got more to chase up uh, regarding YouTube as well. It says two business days, so we should know by Thursday what the outcome is. I, I can't, I honestly, well, even though I don't expect it to come back on, I honestly don't think they, they, they I, don't, I can't see a reason why they can. Well, I know they, uh, yeah, you know, but, the, you know, the, this, it's, it's, it shows then it's targeted and it shows it's targeted oh, by it's, the Welsh Assembly Government. It, it is targeted. It's targeted by those snakes. It is. And then we all know it. Snake food. The difference is, and this is a very, you know, this is, you know, I, I, this is true. It's not what you know, is what you can prove. Mm. You know, we all know that. We all know that that's how it works. But we can now prove it. But let's not assume that YouTube are not going to be fair. No, I mean, let's the, hope. That, they, they've obviously know, been fair up to now. You know, we can't say that they haven't. Yeah. But what they what we they need to realise is this: these same people are relentless, and as, as we you know, we'll go on with no strikes next week, and mm -hmm. and they'll be complaining again. Yeah. And and at that point, uh, YouTube need to look at the names and the IP addresses and and the the, the same people, just like they did with Councillor Dowson and his. Fifty really odd, so differently, isn't it? fifty odd complaints to the ombudsman. Yeah, that's you know, and they need to realise. Oh, this is, this is, this is those people that push the thumbs down button. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and that's exactly what it is. And and, and in that reply, we set, we've sent the links to their pages. So you know, all you've got to do is look at their Facebook page to see you know just the head of yeah. their Facebook page. Hate, okay. hate, hate. That's um, you know, that's fine. Voice of Wales. Voice of Snails. Let's have a quick look. Let's see what their new stuff is, is it? Well, they haven't got any new stuff because we haven't produced anything. Do you know what I love? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what, I <laughs> what I love is you've got to scroll all the way down, which is which is crazy in itself. They're just not, not of any relevance, by the way. God. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? They, they may have blocked me. They may have actually blocked me. That's a result. <laughs> so this, they, they are very scared. Uh, are they actually? They have. <laughs> Let me see if I can search you in here. Ah. So they have. They have. They have blocked. That's really, that's funny. That's very funny. But yeah, basically you will know 100%. There you go. So you've still got that. Oh, don't say that, they'll block me. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. So basically all you got to do is look at it and you will see exactly what type of people they are, okay? They're, they're total scum, unfortunately. But, you know, we, we, we're not going to, obviously a lot of what we want to do tonight, we was going to do a phone in, I even brought the, the back phone. Um, and we was going to have a chat to as many people as we can. Obviously with Facebook instantly, you know, as soon as we press go live, they've said, there's still no notification as to why. Nothing whatsoever. Let me try it. Let's just have a look again and see if I've got any other notifications. Note. Nothing whatsoever from Facebook saying that we're not able to go live. But coming up on there that the upload is ready to go. No. Coming up there is that we're not allowed to go live. Isn't that funny? That is funny. So shall we 
Yeah, just to summarize, we just summarize really quickly because what we need to do is really hammer home. What we what we need, okay, is like I said to stand. If enough people make enough noise about this, okay, it's, it's hard to ignore. Now, what we're seeing here, if YouTube choose not to put us on uh, back up online, we're seeing personal targeted removal of channels based on politics. And if we're seeing that from YouTube, they're so brazen. You're also seeing it celebrated by the Welsh Assembly government, by local media, who are happy to print out lies for people to believe. You know, if that doesn't concern you, then it should. Even if you're a person like you know who's on the left hand side of things, you know, and you've got a, you know, you've got a moral compass, you'd be able to see what's wrong here, and what you'd be able to see is the corruption and the and the the, the lengths that people are going to go through to silence anyone who steps marginally out the line and, and, and says something contrary to what they believe. That, so, and that's a great pity because it is. I've been to listen to Michael Foote and he was a brilliant orator. Mm. I've been to listen to Enoch Powell and he was a brilliant orator. Tony Benn, I've, I've been, I've actually been to London yeah. and, and listened to him yeah. and he was a brilliant orator. And you had mixed crowds mm -hmm. at all those venues. <laughs> you couldn't have that now, did you? They, they Imagine don't, that now. They, well, they don't, they don't do it. They, they want to de-platform and they want to just yeah. be in their own bubble. Mm -hmm. And that makes a bad government. If, if, you, if, you, if you're not debating these things and, and fully yeah, yeah, setting yeah, yeah, the yeah, arguments yeah, out and yeah. having a vote at the end of it, then it's a, we're, we're going to a very, very narrow dystopian mm -hmm place and, and it's scary it is it is it absolutely is i think you know i think this is going to be a milestone for voice of wales purely because we've got we, we they've got they've got the ball now it's up to them yeah you know it's up to them what they do now are they going to do us right or are they going to do us wrong either way we've got the proof there that what we broadcast didn't breach any terms so we haven't had any bans for any breach of any terms ever on our channel. No, no. Never. Out of all of them videos, not a single breach of community standards. So are YouTube going to take a zero tolerance approach here, even though it was their mistake to begin with? Are they going to take a zero tolerance support approach and just say, nope, you're act, done, gone. No warnings, you know, no strikes, no nothing. Just gone, completely gone. And you can bet your life on it. How many of you reckon the play come re-labor? And Lib Dem AMs, how many of them emailed you to? I'd probably say all of them. And how many of stand up to racism and anti firm, Black Lives Matter, you know, whoever they all are, they're all the same people. How many of them sent an email in? Mm. All of them. But it doesn't matter. It's the content of people's character. Yeah. Uh, and people know that, that if we make a mistake, we apologize. Or it's unknowingly, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and, and we're big enough to, to, to change that. Politicians don't do that. And that's why Wales is crying out for a new media and, a, a, and truth tellers. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, do you know, because we've been cut tonight, I think that uh, Twin Town, there'll be a part three now. There is a part three. I've been told there's a part three <laughs> processing and I was going to play it. Um, so yeah, we, then videos were excellent. Did you watch I, the second one? I did, and, and I I thoroughly enjoyed it. Excellent, mate. Yeah, excellent. Be, because actually, it wants you. you, you it, they're so short that you want to you want to see what the next bit is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I got so if you want to see Stan's reaction, something quite funny, right? You know, what do you think of Piers Morgan? <laughs> so Pete, he's left Good Morning Britain. Has it gone? Today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. Look, he's left. And this is overall the Megan Malarkey and um, what's his face? Um, um, something Hewitt? Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Major Hewitt. <laughs> yes. Um, so, yeah, he's walked. He's gone from Good Morning. He's woke. He's woke. <laughs> <laughs> So, guys, right, I hope you're all as excited about that news as us because what we really are hoping is that because there was no breach and there was no error, there was no breaking of community guidelines, there was nothing that we did at all on our channel wrong, we are hoping that this is going to be our channel coming back. And if yeah. it does, yeah. that's, you know, that's a win. Um, if it doesn't, it's a win. 
because it, it shows exactly what is going on, okay? Yeah. And yeah, we might lose our Facebook channel, okay? And yeah, we might lose our YouTube channel. We all know that's how it goes. That's the path that everybody goes down as soon as you pop your head too far. You know, but the difference is, there's only a few that keep on going. And yeah. what, what, was the, what was the saying? When you get to hell, keep walking. <laughs> is that that's right? What, yeah, is that what you said? Never heard it. Haven't you? No, I've not said I heard that. It, who said it to me yesterday? Was it? It might have been someone. Heard, it was yesterday. Where did we go yesterday? Someone said it to me yesterday. It must have been Kim. It might be. Let me... Uh, oh, dear. I'm going to have to Google it. I, yeah. I like to Google it, but, but I'm on the spot. I normally I like to use my brain. I mean, the, the, only, the only people that have been wrong in all this are S4C, the BBC, Wales Online, John Cooper, and Gwyn Loder. You know that I'm sure that that should that name should be. Uh, there you go. Yeah, you're going to be really annoyed that you know I'm going to it. it. was Churchill. Was it? If you're going through hell, keep going. Oh right. Yeah, yeah. I can I can so, imagine him coming out with that. And that is very true. And that is it's a very true point at the moment because you know what they haven't done is literally ripped up their plans. You know, they haven't actually. Yeah. They they are not able to silence us. And either way, we can record videos. And we can get them out there on other platforms. We can get them shared. So there's a lot coming from Voice of Wales. Um, the great news is, and um, obviously we're, we, we've got elections coming up. Going to be standing in elections. Well, dynamic. The dynamic YouTube blogger, Dan Morgan. No, that wasn't the word he used. What did he use? New Hamilton. What did he say? Um, he said, he said, uh, we have uh, YouTube sensation. <laughs> YouTube sensation, Dan Morgan. Thanks, yeah, Neil. What, what about me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube sensation, Dan Morgan. <laughs> not even that. No, not even that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I really look at I, the, the one I'm looking forward to the most is Castle Ward. Um, I'm looking forward to that election because they're already standing the Labour candidate. They're already got her there, shaking hands with all the you know the current Labour councillors for the area. You know, it's, she's, they already probably tell her, like, oh, don't worry, it's just formality. You're going to get it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's what they probably do. Well, but what we're going to do is cause the biggest stink yeah. that they've ever seen in a local election. Yeah. 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 They're, they're going to see campaigning as if it was for Brexit on the streets of Wine Street. <laughs> yep. Yep. And that's it. Um, I don't mind a good fight. And, and uh, but... Let's let's have it a decent fight, shall we? Let's talk about the real issues in Castle Ward, which is crime. Do you know what the real issue is in Castle Ward now? That bloody taco behind me. The taco. <laughs> the deconstructed taco. There we are. So that's gone on for 42 minutes. What we're we gonna do, what this so this is just to give you in real time. It's now 10 past eight. What we're gonna do is download this really quickly, upload it really quickly, and then we watch it back live. Okay, so and we think that we've we've got these. Coming up to sell now? Yes, 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 yes. So the T-shirts, I believe, are now done. My messenger again today. Yep. Right. And they're, they're just ready to pick up and then we can send them. Because I know there's two people particularly who are waiting for... Well, I got the jumpers. It's just a, a T-shirt, two T-shirts. Um, uh, yeah, just the T-shirts. Three T-shirts. can't remember. Um, but yeah, so guys, what we need you to do is share this video, right? Because they are, you, it's crystal clear what they're trying to do to us. It's crystal clear what they're trying to do to Voice of Wales. It's crystal clear why. Um, there's no way that the uh, that YouTube can justify now taking us off the air because they've owned up, they've taken liability for for the ban. So, in in an honest, fair game. Our YouTube channel will be back shortly. Should be. But we're not playing an honest fair game. So that's all we can really do for now. We, we are going to update you over and over again. So, you know, as soon as we get anything, we'll try and get it out to you as soon as possible. But guys, we want everybody, if you can, message as many people as you can. Anybody with any influence that you think may want to hear about this story regarding the fact that they've owned up to it. Yeah. And, and there's and there's a, there's national me, me, ma, national media slandering two people incorrectly, um, and now they need it retracted. Yeah, they do. They definitely need to retract what they said. Yeah. But let's end that there. We will update you soon. Thank you for your patience. Sorry about the the hassle and the technical crap, but that's it's just a hiccup. <laughs> because what is it? Uh, if you're going through hell. Keep on going. Keep going. Keep oh, on yeah. going. <laughs> God, I'm rest.
No, I, I can't. I don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. Guys, thank you very much. Stay tuned and we'll keep you updated. We'll Arrivederci. Keep going. Yeah, what are you saying? <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> Finish. It's still going. <laughs>